Happy holidays to a brand new episode of Vega 411, and this is episode five, and I'm excited to be joining in with you guys. So let's get started because this is a brand new episode. What's going on? We got our list of topics on Vega 411. Welcome back to another episode of Vega 411. I'm excited, episode five of season eight. And um, we're gonna take a break. And with taking a break, we'll be back in February because I have so many um, great things that are happening for the new year of 2019 for the first half. But when we come back, we're gonna have a lot of great, interesting topics, some great, interesting guests, more um, fun, gossip, and just a lot of things to talk about for the rest of 2019. One of my favorite idols and all-time entertainers is Jennifer Lopez. And if you don't know, but Jennifer Lopez has been on heavy promotion last week, promoting her new movie, Second Act. It talks about a woman named Maya who works at a local box um, supermarket store who been working there for 15 years, who uh, tries to uh, get promoted to a high position, but because she doesn't have the degree, um, another, uh, person takes over the spot due to, you know, book smarts, um, in their eyes doesn't equal street smarts, but in Maya's eyes, she tries to prove to not only the supermarket and her peers that book smarts doesn't, that street smarts equals book smarts. So the movie talks about, um, reinvention. It also talks about going for whatever you feel that's necessary and right. And, um, not letting anybody mold you in a box by telling you because this is what your path is and this is what you know and this is what you're going to uh, decide to do in 10, 15, 20 years um, in your career and that's where you're going to end up in. No one can change your life but yourself. I am excited for the film because this is her first time in this thematic music video called Limitless that was uh, written by Sia. Uh, talks about reinvention and also um, breaking boundaries in terms of being a woman and not letting nobody tell you what's right from wrong because women cannot do this or men are better than women. And so um, she has her daughter in the video, Emmy, and the video is supposed to come out this week. So this is a great thing. This is her first ever music video and I hope she does more. And I think it's gonna be a great music video. There's gonna be choreography. There's gonna be um, interpretive dancing. There's gonna be uh, so much, so much that's going on in this music video. So whenever it comes out, be sure to check it out and make sure you get your tickets for Second Act, the movie, on December 21st. We also have some interesting news. Um, I don't know if you guys didn't know, but I am back on the small screen. Aside from me here on Vega 401 on the small screen, but I have a new short film. It's been a long time coming. I know. It's been three years. I haven't had a short film for such a long time. The last short film that I did, I think I did a throwback Thursday, uh, like possibly two weeks ago. And the film that I did was um, a gay uh, dramatic film called One Moment, produced by Andre Lugo for Freedom Film Productions. And it's so funny because last week I did bump into him while I was at the concourse. I was actually um, walking, going to go out to dinner with uh, <clears throat> my boyfriend, and I bumped into him. It's so, it's so crazy coming full circle. So um, that was one of my um, last short films that I did, and that was in 2015. So we are, we're moving on up. We got a new short film, and it's called So How About That Fettuccine? By produced by the Crooked Gene, directed and edited, and produced by uh, Will McNair. Um, it's basically a romantic comedy uh, about um, this guy who goes on online dating for the first time, and when he finally meets this guy named Ronald, my character, it turns out not to be um, the type of guy that he. Well, my character doesn't think that the guy that he kind of assumed that he was going to be with is not the guy that he would kind of like spend his life with. So it turns out to be, well, not in the expectations that they both thought that they were going to both be in, but you're going to have to see the movie because it's so funny. It's out. Um, it's already over 341 views and it's still going up and up. So it's becoming one of my most fastest short film. I'm really proud of it. I, I mean, the cast was great. The editing was great. The sound was great. And it was on Will McNair's first time editing and directing his first ever short film. So, you know, those are, the stakes are high when you're doing something for the first time. You, it doesn't, sometimes you don't get it, right? But I went to the frat, the rap party. It was amazing. And I think the film was great. I'm really proud of the choices that I decided to do as an actor for my character. 
I mean, you know, that's short films. They're quick, they're easy, they're fun, and they're kind of like at your own leisure. So I'm really excited about this short film, and you guys got to watch it. It's on YouTube. So how about that fettuccine under the crooked jeans? So check it out on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe and also follow uh, some of the cast members as well as myself. I am in working on a new album. I'm going on a different direction with this new album. It's going to be a little bit more pop. It's going to be a little bit more urban. It's going to have a little bit more thematic themes into it. More music videos, which I have last week. Was uh, busy filming the first single of my music video, which is titled He'll Never Be Me. And I got a surprise for you guys. So guess what? This week, you can pre-order He'll Never Be Me, which will be available on iTunes this week. Friday, and I said it yes this Friday. So make sure you get your copies. There's also a preview that you can also listen to parts of the uh, of the song. And I'm working on the music video, but the music video will be out top of 2019. But to hold you guys off, there is a promo single which is called "Keep Watching Me." I wanted to go a little bit fun. I wanted to do something a little bit more urban, something a little bit more kind of aggressive, a little bit of rapping. And I hope you guys are enjoying Keep Watching Me. So far, I've checked out the stats, and it's already number two on my most popular songs. And it's because of you guys who've been listening and chiming in and playing the song. So I do got a lot of great material. I got a lot of great songs. I got a lot of stuff that I want to present. I mean, 2019 is going to be full of films, full of music, a new album. So all I can say is just check out your local listings of Jennifer Lopez and also as well as J-Ho, J-Ho Vega, Jesse Vega. We got new music. We got a film that's out called So How About That Fettuccine, Jennifer Lopez film, which is second act and many more. Thank you guys for showing support and love on Vega 41. I see you guys in February 2019. Happy holidays. Hey guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and follow Vega411 on all social platforms right below, right here. My name is Jesse Vega, and I see you guys soon.